This video will teach you how to search Timberland Regional Library's Overdrive Catalog for ebooks and audiobooks in different world languages. In order to search Timberland Regional Library's digital catalog, you first need to be able to access their website. I think one of the best ways to do this is through the Olympia School District portal for students. Down Toward the bottom of the middle section, you'll see a My TRL section. I like beginning here because it gives students a reminder for what their username and PIN number are. Every student has a public library card. It is beginning with the letters OSD, which stand for Olympia School District, followed by your normal username for logging into Google. The PIN number for the public library card is a little bit different than all of our other passwords. This particular PIN has four digits and it is always your birth month followed by your birthday. So here's an example. For now though, I'm going to click on this section and open up the Timberland Regional Library website. From here, it takes us to the student part called MyTRL, but the menus along the top are the same regardless of which library page you're on. In order to look through catalogs, I want you to slightly tap or lightly tap on the borrow menu. You'll notice a few different hyperlinks. The top one is listed as the catalog, which will let us search all books, movies, music within the public libraries catalog, um, including physical copies to check out. But for the sake of today, I want us to just focus on Overdrive eBooks and audiobooks for those digital books. Once this page fully loads, you'll notice that you're able to scroll through to just simply browse for any books and titles belonging to different collections, things that are popular. But in order to find titles that are written or read to you in different world languages, I want you to come up to the search engine and tap your cursor so it blinks in there. As soon as you tap into that search bar, an advanced button pops up. Go ahead and click on advanced. Once the advanced search menu opens, there are a bunch of different filters you can scroll through and specify your preferences with. Because we are primarily interested in looking for books that are written or read to us in different world languages, I'm going to scroll until I see the languages menu. When I open that up, you can scroll through the available world languages that this public library has copies of digital books in. So for the sake of today's example, I'm going to look for Spanish. There it is, Spanish Castilian, and I'm going to select that. Another part of this filtering system that's important is the availability. Because I know that I want to borrow a book today as soon as I find one, rather than leaving this at all titles, I'm going to select those that are available now. So I know that each of the results that are returned are available for me to instantly add to my account. One last important filter is the audience level. When you open this menu, you have four options, juvenile, young adult, general adult, and mature adult. I think students that are in elementary and middle school may be interested in selecting juvenile. High school students are more than likely interested in young adult and general adult titles. So for the sake of this example, I'm going to select young adult and then continue to scroll down through the levels. You could choose to select different lexiles or reading levels if you know them or are interested in that. But the most important part after filtering our needs is to actually click on this green search button. The results that are returned indicate that they have 19 Spanish language ebooks and audiobooks available right now for us. So as we look at the results that are returned, there are a couple things I want to draw your attention to. Notice this book icon next to the ebook word. That means that you will actually be borrowing the text or the book to read. 
Whereas this little headphone next to the audiobook, this would be a recording of the book being read to you in Spanish. So you can decide which book you want to borrow. Let's say for the sake of right now, I am going to borrow Kristen Cashore's Graceling. So I'm going to click on the book. I can read an excerpt from that. I can even click here to read through a sample. Part one coming up. As I click on the right side, I can scroll through the first couple pages. Let's say, yeah, I do wanna borrow this. So at this point, I would click on borrow. And what comes up is a prompt to enter my card number. And because I've told my computer to remember my public card number, I'm going to have to delete that and enter my student school account, which is OSD, and then a normal username. I'm using one of my daughters, and then followed by her birth month, and then birthday. And I'm going to click sign in. So I have successfully signed into this account and it is asking me just to make sure this title is in Spanish. Yes, I do want to borrow it still. The default here is for a 21 day borrowing period, which is the longest. So I recommend leaving that and clicking borrow. At this point, you could, if you have a Kindle, send it to your Kindle. Um, you could just close this window Go to your loans page. Once you're on your loans page, you can read within your browser. So you don't have to have a Kindle in order to read these digital eBooks. You would just need to look for this having trouble, click on it, and then click the button that says read now in browser. This is where the book opens up. And again, you can just tap on the right side to advance the pages. If you need to go backwards, you tap on the left side to go backwards. So one more time, you could, if you have a Kindle, go ahead and click on that Read Now with Kindle. It will open up an Amazon page for you to link it to your Amazon Kindle. Or you can just click on the menu under Having Trouble and open it in your Read Now in the browser. Thank you for watching the video today. If you have any questions searching the Public Library's catalog for digital resources at all, make sure you contact your school's librarian or the public librarians.